In 2019, a hospice was found negligent when maggots were in a patient's wounds. We don't want to find maggots in a person's wounds unless they were put there on purpose. Unless they were put there on purpose. I'm talking about maggot debridement therapy. You can Google pictures of maggot debridement therapy, but I am not going to show you any because, ew, there is no trigger warning that can override the ick factor of maggots. For those of you who don't already know, maggots are fly larvae. The way that maggots work in wound debridement is by, as the name implies, debriding it, removing the dead tissue, because maggots like to eat dead tissue. They disinfect it by killing the microbes in the area, and they stimulate the healing process. These aren't your run-of-the-mill, crawling-in roadkill, who knows where else they've been, maggots. These are medical-grade maggots that have been specifically raised for this purpose. This treatment has been approved by the FDA since 2004, but the benefit of this has been known to surgeons since 1557. I'm sure you're wondering, is this painful? In studies that were done, five to 30% of the people who had this procedure done reported pain, but they were having pain before the therapy started. Pain can be treated with pain medication or the dressing can be removed and the maggots can be released into the world. And stand by with your fly swatter. Just kidding, they're still worms, not flies. Okay, so how do you get the maggots out of the wound when you did not intend for them to be there? The best way is to carefully pick them out with tweezers if there's not too many of them. If there are a lot, the woundcaresociety.org recommends a number of things that you can do, including using peroxide, dusting it with cornstarch, using medical grade turpentine oil, whatever that is. But you're really not gonna wanna do any of those things without first talking to your medical provider. Hopefully, you'll never have to deal with this, whether it's intentional or not. My name is Penny. I'm a certified hospice and palliative care nurse. If you want to know more about death and dying and caring for the dying person, make sure that you like this video and give me a follow.